this is just a really quick view of how my desktop looks currently um i used to have a custom wallpaper on here but i ended up having to complete completely reset my computer a couple months ago so i kind of just left it like this it looks a mess as you can see i have all my screenshots screen recordings um just stuff everywhere sticky note here sticky note here sticky note here um this plain default wallpaper it just it really looks a mess so i decided that i wanted to go into the new year with a custom one and just get back into doing that again so let's get right into customizing the new wallpaper getting right into this tutorial i went ahead and opened up the desktop wallpaper option in canva then i realized i wanted to go ahead and take a look at the templates just to get some inspiration for my design and canva has a lot of very cute um templates i really like that black one and i'm probably going to use it for um one of the other months because i've always only done pink and i really like that black one <laughs> So the sizing for this, I just typed in desktop wallpaper and it came up. Of course, I wanted to do pink. So I went through a few of the backgrounds that Canva has to offer. And I found this really cute shimmery pink one. I also like the bubble one that you'll see me um, choose as well. I may save it for another month or I don't know really but i want you all just to really watch this video and hopefully it gives you some inspiration to customize your own wallpaper and get it organized and ready for the new year here i am creating my sections i want them to be like a really light pink and i'm going to also make them slightly transparent um just so you can still see the background i do label each section and it's just going to be where i'm going to either put apps folders or my sticky notes you are going to see me play around with these a few times throughout the video just to get them how i want them to look on the wallpaper I really feel like that's the hardest part of the whole thing is figuring out where you want the sections to be because I am going to move them again. <laughs> but right here, I'm just going to start creating my calendar. Yes, I'm going to type out all the numbers myself, but I'm going to skip that part because don't nobody want to watch that. Okay, so this font that I'm going to use for January is Better Grade, I think. Of course, it came from thefont.com if you want to look for that font yourself. And like I said, I'm going to move the sections again and I'm going to move them again later on. <laughs> but once I get it kind of how I want it, I go ahead and jump into um, Pinterest. And in Pinterest, I'm just going to look for some pink photos and affirmations or quotes just to add to the design. Just something to look at every day to give me a little bit of motivation. 
and let me know hey we got we got stuff that we need to get done we got goals to reach this year and i need to stay focused okay because i am at my computer every day even if i'm not in the mood to work i'm always on here doing something whether it's something for my brand itself or just something behind the scenes i try to still come in here every day and at least give myself some type of motivation but as you can see i'm just um looking for just like random cute pink pictures i'm not doing too many um because i'm gonna do a vision board as well and that's gonna have more of this type of stuff on it and my desktop really doesn't need any more junk on it to be honest Okay, so right here, I really go back to that I can and I will watch me quote. And you're going to see me add, not the photo because I didn't download it. You're going to see me add that on the vision board. I mean, on the vision board, on the wallpaper as well. Later on in the video. Okay, so now I'm trying to figure out how I want to lay the photos. I am going to grab a frame from the elements tab and just drag and drop each of those photos that I brought in from Pinterest to one of those frames and then I'm going to start moving the sections again Okay, so I kind of realized um, when I moved that money photo that nothing was aligned correctly. Good job. Um, so I'm just moving all of the affirmations and photos to the center of the canvas. And then I'm adjusting the sections to um, make that little look a little bit neater. Um, once I do finish that, I'm going to go in and find some little extra stuff to use for details and things like that. But this is what I was talking about when I said I wanted to add that quote that I saw in Pinterest. Um, I'm just going to make it really small, but it's going to be noticeable. It's going to do what it needs to do. Okay. Here, I'm going to add like some tape details. You're going to see me choose like the pink um, holographic one, but I used that one in my last desktop design. So I said, I'm just going to go ahead and stick to the clear one. I really like this clear tape and I've had nothing to use it on. So I'm just going to make it look like the section is taped on to the wallpaper and I'm going to add some other details as well. Nothing too much because I did want to keep this simple and give it like a very clean look instead of cluttering it up with a lot of stuff. I really wanted to add like a push pin because the background, even though it's shimmery, it gives me like this, um, what is it called? Cork board type of vibe. So I wanted to add some little push pins and safety pins into the design as well, just to make it look like they're sticking through it. I don't know. That's just how my mind works. It looked like a like a pink shimmery cork board. And if I could find one of those for real, I would definitely buy it. Let's see how I'm just making it look like the calendar is um, stuck into the board, the wallpaper or whatever. And then this section over here, I'm just going to play around with it and figure out figure out where I want things to go. Okay, 
Okay, so that is pretty much it for the design. I am gonna go ahead and name it because through, through the year, I'm gonna put each one that I do in this same section. And I'm just gonna go ahead and show you all how I add it to my desktop. All right, so here's my junkie desktop. I'm just gonna go into my photos, right click on the wallpaper we created and set it as the wallpaper. Now you can see that looks so much better. It's so pink, it's so pretty, and it matches my desk as well because everything on my desk is pink. <laughs> So I'm gonna do is um, kind of name this sticky note. So once I close it out, I can still see what the sticky note is, what it's for. I do go back later and change the color of those sticky notes. Well, that sticky note as well, because the yellow, I don't like it. After that, I'm just gonna go in and clean up the desktop a little bit more. And then I'm gonna go ahead and show you all the final result. See, I did go ahead and change my folders to this brighter pink color because I felt like the ones that I originally had were too light and you couldn't really see them. Um, I put all of my apps that I use mostly throughout the day. I do have a couple, a couple more that I need to add, but these are pretty much the apps that I use every day on my computer. Um, I just have them right here in this corner because usually my screen is here and it makes it easy to access them. I think I'm going to change these icons as well to either the same pink color or maybe white. I haven't decided, but this is just pretty much, pretty much it for the design. Um, hopefully I keep up with changing my calendar. I was kind of skeptical about doing the calendar because... It's probably going to be set to January in the middle of February. And then I'm going to remember, oh yeah, I need to change it. But it's okay. Let's be hopeful. Um, here is just, I guess, my affirmations. Um, just a little bit of motivation. The money, okay. It's giving vision board because we need some money, all right? Right here is just going to be the client's folders. All of my clients have their own folder. Um, I try to keep all of their files in case they need something later on um, and I just put them here as I work on them I'm gonna start with my January clients because I'm pretty much done with the ones from this month and here I just have where I'm gonna put my sticky notes right now is just where I keep my default YouTube descriptions like my links and everything um, usually if I'm working on like an acuity site or something I'll make a quick sticky note just so I have all the changes that I need to make or policies instead of switching back and forth through screens. But that is pretty much it for my custom desktop wallpaper organizer tutorial. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see what you all come up with for your desktop wallpapers. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye. Walking around the Christmas tree at the Christmas party hop.